<laughs> hey guys, Dark Gaming here, and welcome. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. Why am I in the audio settings? And welcome to Surviving Mars. It's it's a free game that you can get on Steam right now, September what eight, and will only last till September nine. That's why I got myself a copy. But you can purchase it on Steam, so check it out. And yeah, I just want to try it. So let's go. I I have no idea what this is. Uh, all I know it's a city builder survival strategy game. So we're going to tutorials. Let's go. Ready? Uh, tutorials. The basics. In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate Mars, how to land a rocket, and drones construct buildings on Mars. All right. Gizzle. Let's hope the frame rates can handle this. This is wow. Look at that. So realistic. Is the audio good? All right, I'll try to speak. Welcome to Mars. Like this. Welcome to Mars. Okay, yeah, is this better? Forgive the error bubbles. I'm. I have the mic next to my mouth. That's why. That's why. Hold up. There we go. Maybe it keeps on stretching back out. <sighs> okay, like this, like this. Hello. Eh, eh. Stick it, stick it there. Stick it good. I mean, yes. I am training simulation. Welcome to Mars. In this training exercise, we'll learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface. Damn it! I can hear myself with the air, and that's irritating me. That's why I put the mic away from me. Damn! Damn! Come on, work with me, headphones. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, in this training exercise, we'll learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct small base, and how to review the rocket to the better than that. Effect. The team is set up to save the general tutorial. Okay. Hints such as this one will appear throughout the training process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current tasks. Okay. Please. You need to master the camera controls and familiarize yourself with the terrain around the prospective colony site. Sure. Zoom in by using the mouse wheel on the explored sector. Send the reserve the mouse more closely. Pullable area. 94%. Concrete metal. Okay. Ooh! Camera controls. LDSD. Tilt or rotate. Hold the mouse wheel. Now it's time to land your first rocket. Damn it! I wasn't. Can we go back? Uh, select the pin rocket icon. Mark with the green arrow. Yeah. Brittle land. Pillow. One don't have moisture vaporator. Sterling generation generator fuel refinery drone with the rocket selected designate a landing site on the indicated location What now? There's drones! And we have touched down. The rocket has landed on Mars. 
carries drones, remotely controlled robots with guns to do construction and resources to gather workers, gathering basic features for building construction while operating in Martian base teams. Place a metal depot so the depot so the drones will begin automatically bring metal scattered to the Gotta buy metals, a metal steepo. Alright, open the build menu and then follow the arrows to choose the metal depot. Build menu. Metal depot. Metal depot. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. Construction can go to the construction resource status of clear. Draw hands. Please cancel RT. Ah. Zoom in out. Hold shift. Place multiple show effect ranges. What do you mean? <coughs> I mean, let's put it here. It's close to the map. Hmm. Are these metals too? Hmm. Interesting. You'd think that you want me to land there, but sure, fine. Use the HUD space. Pause on pause. Plus three. valuable resources that will be essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Initially, it's best to designate a universal depot so the drones have a place to store them. Okay. Build universal depot. <coughs> Basic construction resource. Power shredder over concrete deposit building. There is a concrete. Huh. Build production concrete. Huh. Not a holder. Okay. <laughs> uh. Power. Well done. Now observe how the drones will carry all the resources to the site and then construct the concrete extractor. Okay. Right. I mean, it's a sim, so it's going to be like that. extractor needs power in order to operate. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply is essential for the success of the colony. Right. Selling data generation to get power sources, materials to get more da, 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 da. <coughs> That's why we ship them from art partially assembled in pre-pads. Pre-pads do not require any resources. Only drones to unpack and assemble them. We provided you a sterling generated feedback. Kind of and they connected to contact and center with a power cable and presses the new digital spot. This is the program for direct connection. Huh. Um. Right. So. Build. Energy. Sterling. <clears> 
I should put it here, huh? Yeah. Are Where are the drones at? Oh, we're building it. We're building it. <coughs> Connect yes. the Sterling generator and the concrete extractor using a power cable from the build menu to power up the extractor. Jesus. Power cables. the drones call, call, call the drones there you go waste rock is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations this way you can ensure that it will not be in the way of future construction Place a dummy side in a concrete depot to store the extracted concrete. Huh? Place a concrete uh, uh, Right. Storage depot. No. <coughs> concrete depot. Dumping aside. Huh. I mean, should be nearby, right? Drones will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Coming out of the panorama selected. Visual apparatus, software, rolling, and not control. Kill the drone, huh? Make sure you supply the power. Okay, hold up. Hold up, the audio is too loud. <laughs> the audio is too loud. Demers, screamers. Okay, cool. <coughs> so, build the drone, have near off it. And connect it to the power grid. I mean, it's there. And then build power cable. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Drones run on batteries that have <coughs> to be recharged periodically. Heavy donor is a minor additional construction uses as a heavy donor to the batteries with a many pieces worker. Bill recharge station near the concrete extractor. <coughs> okay. Maintaining a steady supply chain between Earth and Mars is essential, especially during the early colonization stages. Right. 
and we're not gonna want me to demise that he threw it on the side. <coughs> Fuel is for producing a builder of family. To set up the production chain, we'll also need water. Build the moisture evaporator and then a fuel refinery. Okay, cool. Um, alright, life support, moisture evaporator. Um, we got lots of metal, so we could that fuel refinery. Oops. And then power cable. <coughs> How much are you? Don't have sufficient power for all the buildings in the colony. Cool. Sterling generator. Should be nearby, I guess. Get. A system of pipes is used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. Moisture vapor is beginning to back to the water battery. I mean, I think I've already did. Connected to building. Yep. Did. Fuel production is now underway, and the <coughs> drones will begin to deliver the fuel to the rocket. He's been but the purpose is to need far less fuel than it would do. I don't play for it. Huh? Okay. Right. Pay for fuel. Rocket. Refueling zero five. Okay, cool. No orders. What are you doing? Why are you guys idle? Resources are low. Any resources? Any? Low storage. Rocket and press launch, send it back to the earth. Happy. Cool. Congratulations. You have finished the first tutorial. That was the first tutorial? Wow. I know this is gonna be complex. And I like it. I like these kinds of games. Okay, uh, using rockets to bring in this supplies. <laughs> Play next. Welcome, Commander. In this training exercise, you will get acquainted with one of your most valuable tools rovers. Rover! Transporting, commanding, analyzing. Select the RC. Now let's try moving around. <coughs> Too late, I already done that. The RC transport can load and carry resources around the map. Let's use it to refuel the nearby rocket. 
Ini dia si Chan Lofia di base Nordic Cross the Rocket. Si Chan scan lagi di Rocket. Rocket. Don't scan also if they need them. However, loading the resources quicker and will fill the RC transport for other tasks. Cool. What the hell? Yeah, load resource. What? Huh? And right click. Okay. A fuel icon. Oh, Jesus. That's an additional task. Far away to Narohodo. Now speed. order the RC transport to unload the fuel next to the rocket. Ah. Uh. Unload here. Unloading cargo at target coordinates. Yeah, it's a slow pace game. That's why you can think up think of strategies to do. Then select. And deliver. Already did. Oh. So normally you need thirty fuel to launch it. Rover. Yeah, Rover is pretty good. Hmm. Mm. Nice. Launch. Three, two, one. That's it. Some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. Oh boy. The reassign command is the sign it on the nearby down hub. Reassign down hub. The RC transport is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits uh -oh. without the help of the <coughs> Sorry. Um, sorry. <coughs> Unload resources. Okay, cool. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah. Move interact when you right click on the boss. Hit. Okay. Gather five metals to continue. Wow, it can be very dark. <laughs> Gathering resources. Gathering. Cool. Let's set up a small expand some distance away from the main base. Okay. 
transfer create transfer route command center <coughs> transfer modification above main base select and rover you straight transfer route okay load all resource then right click nice work okay <coughs> just like a manual command of gathering resources Loading up the resources instead of <laughs> delivering the resources. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Alright, we're here. Now what? Commander, one other thing. It's a mobile drone control carrying sound drone. <coughs> It's help you can get a resource that I made building and when we found is a sigma approach. Recall it's transform up to the Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. Move. Move. We need to construct a new sensor tower to scan the nearby environment. Sensor tower. Scanning is a sensor tower. Uh, B. Sensor tower. Place it there. I don't even know where to place it. GG. Buildings not working. Sterling. Generator need to be built. Good job. Need to be built. Take some time. It's time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. Cool. Go to the map overview. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. Database probes. Is probe. Any? Uh, right. You can also queue sectors for scanning. Uh, queue sectors. Um, right. Click on the sector and add it to the scanning queue. Yeah, you need to be at a high speed for this to work, I guess. Hey, B. So well done. Now it's time to use our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Good job. Anomaly found. I mean, you'd think that it's far away, but it's actually close. If you got it on max stuff. Scan in progress. Anomaly found. Did 
the anomaly has yielded interesting insights into new technologies. Research. <laughs> Researching in under the colony to be laying down updates. How is it about the research along the technologies research research board? I wouldn't research Anomaly here. found. Anomaly found. Until today, the only place we'd thought you could find Ice 15 outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. Ice 15, super dense, high pressure environment. You know, it gives it Five hundred million, yeah. Anomaly this is the research screen. Ooh. From here, you can choose and queue text for research. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What is it? Research. <coughs> queue any tech. Commander, one other thing. Each tech, each tech has a cost on research point and generate battery space point where some research point to start with. Ha 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 Bungle farm generate 100 research per soul for each RC explorer. Village. Huh? Oh, okay. Cool research. Out so large. <coughs> Just kidding. Close. Nice work. Now you know how to handle rovers. Do I? Power, water, means. Okay, sure. Welcome, Commander. It looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. <laughs> okay. First things first, let's remove some unnecessary structures. Yeah. Some are concrete. Um salvage now let's get that drone hub operational drone hub he's going to power this is the solar panel uh-huh build Power, solar, solar panel. Yes. Nani. Nani. What do we need for this? What do we need for you? Metals. Metals. No, concrete. Where's the metals? Metal? Ah, uh, not a whole dough. 2.5. Two 
asking. We have some power, but it's not enough. We should prioritize the drone hub. Uh huh. Click high priority. We can use the machine parts left from the concrete extractor to build a wind turbine. Right. And you also get bonus power production and build on higher ground, however, higher big cost prices more often. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Build wind turbine. Machine parts and concrete. Oh. Even with the wind turbine, there won't be enough electricity to power the base, especially during the night. Okay. Tree ship. Builders require power resources only during their activity. Disable the night ships of moisture vaporator and fuel refinery what are this? what? huh? night ship oh you manage oh. to get things operational but nice. this won't last as buildings require maintenance and we are out of resources yep that's a thing mm -hmm. Okay, the simulator breakdown of the solar panel. Does a better range of their controller. Huh. Uh huh. We need more metals to secure this base. Right. Use the RC transport to collect some metals and transport them back. Got the resources. Hayaku. Resources are low. Resources are low. It's like order of finery. With the uh red alert. Red alerts uh war miner <laughs> and the chrono thingy. Chrono tank or something. Chrono miner. Buildings not working. Should be a night ship though. Not enough power. Really? Not enough power? What do you mean? <coughs> Alright. Yes. We're done. We need metal. Good job. However, we need more than just metals. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. <laughs> mm hmm. We need funding to buy resources. We need enough to get a basic call and up and running. Resupplies in order to advance sources from Earth. Resupply cargo rocket. Ah, uh, order 280 million. Really? Dollars for polymers? Machine parts? And electronics?
Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. Decommission protocol technology in the engineering field for the purpose of tech. Huh. Clear. Clear. Now, let's remove some of the unnecessary cables. Uh huh. Build. <coughs> Salvage. Ready to land. Where do you want it? Where do we want it? Okay, let's land it here. Because it's more awesome. Or land it here. Resources are low. Resources alone. The supplies from Earth have arrived, and we can use them to expand the base. Huh. Everyone wants to get in. Build power, power accumulator. Build power accumulator. Water is essential for a sustainable Martian colony. Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Right. Use the build menu to construct a water extractor near the water deposit. Then power it up. Water. 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 And build. You know, I might be just, you know, being an ass here, but yeah. Power cable. Would it be cheaper to. Water extractor is ready, but we don't have a storage for the water it will extract. Uh huh. Water tower. Okay. Build water, water tower. has finally come to build the first dome that will house our colonists. Ooh, the <laughs> dome. Uh-huh. 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 
And gold is a black socket. Cut off base and all. Hmm. Hmm. Build. Dome. 80. 20. 10. Yeah, we got enough. You got the resource, low storage. What is this? Huh. Oh, wait, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You're good. Good enough. Yep. See, we're doing it. We're making the dome. Hell yeah. Eight, nine, nine. Need concrete. What the? The one and only. Oh, we're done. Wow, they break. The dome is complete, but we have to supply it with water, power, and oxygen before we can use it. Hmm. 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 Moxie, a device that extracts carbon dioxide and the water moxie is very powerful in the pipe. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. So we need to build more power. Right. Uh not yet available. Ooh boy. Wrong building. See. I'll put it nearby. Damn it. Okay. Then I'm gonna build pipes because you know we can. Then build a large solar panel. Build another large solar panel. Build our cables from here. To here. 
and then pipe yeah pipes life support um oxy yeah no production during the storm oxygen tank pipe okay Clean. There we go. We're doing it. Charging. Stored power. Stored power. Oh crap. Repair. How do we... How do we repair you? Dude. How do we repair you? Man, turn off. Uh, fine. Right. Service, help, repair. There's no repair command here, though. Oh. Wait. You need power. Building is not working. Why? Oh, night. Not enough power. Well done. You have completed the simulation successfully. Oh, okay. Yay. I mean, we done it right. It's just that we don't have enough power at night. We're doing it. We're creating a world. New world order. Welcome back, Commander. In this tutorial, you will finally familiarize yourself with the challenges of sustaining a society on Mars. Sure. Ah, oh boy. Have another founder. Bring another founder. Another founder. Tell me to let the fair amount begin. Number of corners are until the founder stage ends. Be careful. <laughs> if all your colonists die during this period, we should turn it. <laughs> okay. The foundations for bringing your first colonists have already been laid down. One of the final things left to do is to provide the founders with living space. Mm -hmm. like that have been inside the dome, the space was done as soon as they should have to be Truck. I can zoom in further. Wow. <clears throat> Living complex. Cool. So, who's gonna build them? Drones? Any of the drones working? With all preparations complete, the colony is ready for the arrival of the founders. Order 
passenger rocket from resupply screen. Resupply. Passenger. From this screen, you can inspect all available applicants and determine which ones will travel to the colony. Okay. Okay. You may want to review and hand pick individual candidates for the founders. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're gonna read your price flow and you get it in the front of founders and not even have to do the first hand and change colors. Select engineer. Just a minute. Hold on. Bro, man, engineer traits sexy greatly increased birth rate. Birthplace <laughs> uh, male vegan, no worry, don't tell you. Alcoholic work performance lowered by 10 can be caused by sanity brain plus drinking. Workaholic male performance increased by 20. No penalty for heavy workloads. Minus relaxation. Yun Chang. Specialization? No specialization. Hippie. Means twice as much comfort in Gardens and Park. Okay. Raju Shakrati. Geologist. Glutton. Can be caused by sanity breakdowns plus dining. Increased performance of penalty when at low morale can be used by sanity breakdown. Gambler. 30 cent of city casino, Saturday breakdowns. Hildegard of Warren. Sexy. Wait, no. Sexy is Delbert. <laughs> what? Religious. High individual based morale. Low Saturday never leads to suicide. Oh, so that's. Hmm. Cryptic bot. Party animal. More health recovered by resting, can work when health is low, no couple of penalties when eating, unprepared food or having no residence. All sanity losses are have fifty percent chance to lose twenty sanity. Casino nerd. Every time new technology is researched. <laughs> Fit. Mm-hmm. Alcoholic Siri Hypochondriac will randomly visit mental buildings and take sanity damage if unable to do so. Nani? Doshte Melancholic Increased performance and no morale. Temporarily morale boosted in the gambler. Okay, yeah. Launch. Colonists will arrive on Mars with a small amount of food, but it will not last long. We need to make sure that they will be able to produce their own food on the Red Planet. The hydroponic farm can produce food. Although the colonists can take food directly from a food depot, they will be happier if they can pick it up from a grocery. Construct the hydroponic farm in the grocery inside the dome huh got it right 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 hydroponic farm and then grocer what the? Where did I get the hydroponic farm then? Where was the hydroponic farm? Oops. Chata. school dome services it's gone since I clicked the grocer
cool. Yeah, how do passenger... Colonists work? need service buildings to keep them comfortable on Mars. The grocery that you already constructed is one such service building. Cover a cover of the red earth sick, decide to leave Mars, go back to Earth. Sure. Construct a space bar. <laughs> space bar. Cool. Wow. It just got one district for it. Like the entire district. I call this the pizza dome because you know it's a dome and then pizza slices all right wait for the passenger rock to arrive and then land it near the dome okay and then near the dome New colonists have arrived. How did they crop failure reported? Great. Huh? Now that you have a space bar, you can customize its work settings. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Table one job in every active ship. How do you do that? Okay. Table one. So like a space bar. Right click one of the work slots in the first two ships. The slot is shown in red. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. นั่นๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆๆ
gonna make where's the medical medical oh okay Work shifts, among other things, are a way to manage your workforce. Right. The more shifts a building has open, the more colonists it will attract to work there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Activate second work shift. Buildings with higher priority will be allocated workers, power, and maintenance before others. Hi. Hi. With the research lab up and running, let's begin researching some technologies. Cool. Thank you. Wow. Oh. Smart. Oh, these are not yet available. Available. <coughs> Nani? Social. Social. Biotech. Oh. Physics. Soil adaptation. Nice. Congratulations. You have provided everything needed for a successful founder stage. Yep. I mean, ten souls. You have completed the tutorial for the founder stage. Okay. Multiple domes. Welcome back, Commander. In this tutorial, you will manage a larger colony that consists of multiple domes. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Typical situation, big colony, of course. Lots of people. Shuttles can transport resources and colonists across great distances. Right. Complex and all the is trying to measure as must be researched with work you have as you have here. Shuttle hub. Build infrastructure. Shuttle hub. Connected to the power grid. Move it, move it. People, move it. I mean, drones, move it. Wow, we got tons of materials. I like this. <laughs> Supply everything. We need one more concrete. Now that we have operational shuttles, it's time to establish a mining dome. Mining dome. Okay. Such as extraction. 
independent meanings is involved in the simulation. The second rail man of the sun makes the rail man of the body and the power grid. Rare metals extractor that connected to the power grid. Are Are Why is it curving? It's so weird. Ah, gotcha. All clear. Kachink. Need human. There are no colonists in the mining dome. We must provide living space for the colonists so they can move there. Right. Living complex. Don't forget to provide basic services for the citizens of your new dome. I know. I know. Go, sir. Space bar. Grocer. You have enough food though. Oh, Naru. Wait, that is. You can set up filters for every dome to attract colonists with desired traits and block or push out colonists with undesired ones. Select down. Filter, Being trace. near a rare metals deposit, this dome is best suited as a mining hub. So it's best to encourage geologists to migrate here. Mm -hmm. The reason that was is also banned scientists from the center to activate thumbs up for the geologists, thumbs up for one of the scientists. Specialization. Geologists, thumbs up. Thumbs down. Apply. Next dome. This dome has been designated for research purposes. So it's best to attract more colonists with the scientist specialization. Uh, thumbs up. Thumb down. Yeah. Back. Close. Colonists can migrate between domes using shuttles or walking when they are positioned close to one another. However, they cannot usually visit buildings in nearby domes on a daily basis unless they are connected to their own dome. Okay. Construct a dome. Construct basic dome. Oh, flying shuttle. Naruto. <coughs> Mine, my slaves. I mean, workers. Yes. Damn, be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Almost there. Don't worry. Also, here's the water station, right? You just connect the pipes. Unless they say that it's not necessary. What is this? Fuel, water, water tower. We can just connect it from here. Not sea, then water is connected to all in one. Yep. Construct two farms in the new dome. They will be used as workplaces for the colonists in the old dome 
once the domes are connected. Farm. Hydrophonic farm. Produce food, consumes water depending on the type. That's why we need power. I'm doing it. Power cable. Ching. Domes positioned closely to each other may be connected with passages. Passage. Dome. Passage. See. <coughs> like a highway. Get your kicks on route sixty-six. Job. Good job. Honestly, because I'm really built fun. Oh, so I don't really need to. <sighs> ah. Okay. Well, that was a waste. I was thinking in advance. That's for some buildings can have upgrades that can improve them in various ways. Research extractor amplification for research screen. Extractor amplification. Extractor amplification. Yeah. Also, it is. I wish we could see the progress though. <laughs> wow. I like it. I like this game. It's a good it's time consuming but it's good nonetheless. Shuttle service. Shuttle hub. Concrete. Concrete deposit. Recharge station. RC rover. Come at me. Crop failure reported. Nani? Crop failure. Doiste. Oh, no more workers. Sun in this. Sun in this. Uh, rare metals, food, concrete, life support. Building's not working. Congratulations. With the research complete, a new upgrade for your <coughs> extractors is now available. It is not automatically activated in your build. Okay. Yep. Upgrade amplifier. Nice work. Nice work. King, king, king. The upgrade has been constructed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. The command center is a treasure trove of information about the colony. Uh-huh. I'll be the command center and try it out. 
general, funding, grid, basic, total population is 34, total buildings, power producers, production, waste rock, cool. Graphs, colonist, loner. <gasps> You're a loner. Yes. Interests, relaxation, exercise. Oh boy. Oh boy. Congratulations, Commander. Congratulations. You have graduated from the International Mars Mission Training Simulation. Ooh. Good job. We finished the tutorial, everybody. But that's it. I... I don't know if we're gonna do a game with this. It's gonna be time-consuming for sure. So... Yeah. But yeah, it's good. I like this game. I like these kinds of games. Especially with me playing those stuff together. So maybe I'll try it, but I'll try to record it. But if it doesn't, if it's too long, then, you know, I might not post it, but it's still recorded. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out Go See Josh and That's Cookie on their channels if you want to see them play. Links in the description. Please leave a like and subscribe and try to survive Mars. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Create your new world.